I feel so far away. Hi, my name is Jung and thank you for joining me today. I have a very special unboxing and I'm very excited to share it with you. Um, this unboxing is coming all the way from Indonesia and I'm very excited. It has a lot of um, aeroids that I had purchased about a month ago from a seller only plants and unfortunately he decided to close his shop. I decided to purchase some of his plants. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, they first off packaged it very well um, and it shipped through DHL. It took about seven days for this package to arrive to me and it's shipped in a styrofoam box, which I really like because right now where I am, it's summer and it's hot. I'm nervous. Okay. So the paper is damp, which is good. It means nothing is drying out. And the way that they have this in the box, so they wraps it in paper, and then they have little sphagnum balls with the, the name. I'm excited to be unboxing these. Um, some of them are really small and you know it looks like they didn't include a packing list so I'm gonna go get a packing list one eternity later okie dokie so, I guess they didn't, technically didn't need a packing list because they have their names written on plant, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and inspect the plants. I'm probably gonna keep them inside of their little, oh, there's a little root sticking out. Um, they're probably gonna stay inside their little little bundle until I get them ready for the actual pot. Okay, so here we go. This is a philodendron SP. Philodendron SP. So we, it looks like we are gonna need the list. Um, they taped the bag, so hopefully Everything will be okay on that front, and the leaves are cotton tape. Ooh. I believe this is the Palmini Eye. Oh, look how cute. Oh, I love it. And it has three leaves. But it's a nice healthy plant. It has these cute little ruffles. Oh, I love it. Very cute plant. How many I? 
This is another Philodendron SP. This is small, so I'm thinking that this is the Cream Splash Cateracium. What's up, Peanut? What's up? What's up? Hmm? Come here. Come here. Come. Come. Good girl. Okay. I'm filming, okay? Can we be quiet? Can we, can we, can we no bark? No barking? Good girl. Okay, sorry about that. Um, philodendron, small philodendron. SP. Oh, you know, this is a baby, maybe. This is a baby, maybe. Oh no, this, this is what I was... So this is a little, uh, worse for wear. <laughs> this is the, the philodendron heteracium. It's already starting to... It's literally lost all its leaves. Um, but the vine is the most important part that stays intact. And it's a pretty weak vine, to be honest. So this is kind of a loss. I'll do another small philodendron. That was the cream splash, by the way. Oh, okay, so this is the lupinum. Lupi lupinum, yeah, lupinum. Lupinum, philodendron, it's a heart leaf, but it does change form when it gets mature. This one looks like it has a little bit of a damage to the leaf, but that's okay, because that's the newest bud there. So as long as that bud is nice and healthy, I can lose this leaf, and this leaf will be lost too. Okay, next. We'll do the small ones first and then we'll go to the bigger ones. Here we go. Next is this is Monstera. Oh, let's not do Monstera. Let's do the Philodendrons. Oh, that Monstera's really small. Unless he broke it? Because there's another Monstera. Oh, Monstera. This is the Adansonii. And then this is the actual. Okay. So let's do Monstera Adansonii, which is a smaller one. This is supposed to be a mint variegation. And there's hardly any variegation on here at all. This looks like a regular Adansonia, it's me. I don't see any variegation really on the stem. Oh, there's a little bit of variegation. A tiny bit, you can see right there. There's a little bit of variegation. All right, next we'll do this one which is a philodendron. Ooh, this is the Caricio Verde.
Paradiso Verde. How cool is that? Big leaf. I got two, two pretty relatively big size leaves. And then I got a little baby leaf here, which is gonna come out. Looks like that's the new stem because they cut it right here. And then that's the node that they activated here, which means that maybe there's another node below that belongs to this leaf. Paricio Verde, yeah, I was right. Paricio Verde. I was thinking it was like paradise, but almost not quite. Okay. Very cool. I'll do this one next. This is Monstera SP. So I only ordered two Monsteras. I had the mint. And this, this is another part of the mint, which it could be because I did order a medium size. So let's save that for the end. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Um, and meanwhile, we will open this one. Ooh. One leaf is a goner. This is probably the McDowell. Thinking this is the McDowell. We got one leaf that is a goner for sure. Let's just peel that right off. And this one is on its way out, so is this one really. This one is pretty good, but it's suffering some type of. Cellular damage. I'm not sure what that is. It has these dots that look like po a possible bacterial infection, maybe. Yeah, it's possible it's a bacterial infection because I can see it through the light of this. Yeah, there's green spots all throughout. So really what we're gonna probably just have to do is take all the leaves off and regrow the leaves. But this really looks like a Gloriosum to me instead of a McDowell. So I'm not sure. All right, this one is a philodendron Chironier. Philodendron Chironier has these really cool elongate leaves that I really liked. And there's several of them, so I'm pretty excited about this one. This is kind of going to be my, um, out of the humiditarium, hum humiditarium, <laughs> after, um, restart, uh, this is going to be the plant that I don't put in a terrarium, but it still has those really long leaves. So I'm excited about this one. This is going to be really cool. Oh, and it's growing a new little baby here, too. These leaves are awesome.
stop. I didn't want to open this one yet. This one comes later. You didn't see that. I didn't see that. Oh, look, there's another little one here. Okay, let's do the little one. What is this one? What is so tiny? What is this little and small? Because this thing is like ridiculously small. Oh, this was the white knight. And the white knight is dead. The knight is dead. Look at it. The knight is dead. Oh, the leaf is smushed. It's, it's game over for these leaves. I'm just hoping that I'm just hoping that the inside is safe. Sad as day. Um, you can see some variegation on this leaf, which makes me know that it's the white knight. Little variegation. Shitty white knight. All right, so we got four plants left, and that's that's it for us. This one's in front of me, so let's go ahead and do this one. This is the Philodendron adipoense. Adipoense. Very cool. Another long leafed friend. This one is the longest of the leaves. Well, that's a cool plant. I dig her. Got some aerial leaves going, or aerial roots going around here. This one's a pretty good sized plant. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. At least he sent me a bigger specimen of this guy. Got a poense. I really like these long, Longer leaves. They're cool. They're very neat. These longer leaves are very cool. Let's go ahead and do the small monstera because this might be a part two to my mint. I'll go ahead and find that out. It is not part two to my mint. This is not a monstera. This is a philodendron. They mislabeled the root ball. I'm super excited about this philodendron. This philodendron is a beautiful philodendron that I am so excited to have. I don't know how many leaves there are. I refuse to look at the moment while I try to undress her. Well, 
One leaf is <laughs> gone. <laughs> we'll go there, stockpile those leaves. This is Philodendron Elegance. Although it's not very elegant right now. It has, um, you know, the heads are, have been snapped for sure. So this one shows that it's snapped and dried over, meaning it snapped in transit. So we're just gonna help that one out and just take that off. This one cracked, but it's okay still. So the Philodendron Elegance. I'm super excited. I, I just love these. I just love these fingers. They're a very cool plant. I'm excited to grow this one out. And there's a new little one coming. Very cool. Philodendron elegance. Okay. Well, now we're going to do this other philodendron. This is the tortum. It's another finger like plant. And I thought it would become a very cool specimen, like tree, eventually. And I'm in love with this plant. Oh my god, look at it. It has these cool leaves. They're very palm-like and um, kind of resorty, resort-like. And I thought it'd be a really cool plant. I'm excited. The leaves are super, super cool. Show camera. And I love how many leaves there are. And you know, it's a tropical plant and it's not gonna... Doesn't have any thorns, unlike desert plants. Desert plants are vicious because they don't want to be hurt. Uh, this one has a fractured head. Oh, no, actually, that's just a characteristic. All of them have a bend at the head. Oh, and it has a brand new little baby. Oh, excited. Little one right here. And I love this leaf here. Because it's the smallest, but it's so cute. And we have last, but not least, is this plant here. This is the variegated monstera that I bought from Only Plants. And I know it's gonna come in a pretty bad shape, but what matters are the nodes. So my plan for this plant is just to keep the stem and just, um, I know all the leaves are gonna go bad, so just take off all the leaves and activate the nodes and probably air layer. Um, and this will be my first plant air layering. And that'll be kind of a fun project, I think. Um, it's going to take a little time for all these plants to uh, recover from their trip because they just came from halfway around the world. And I'm really excited to 
you know, add them to my collection. Um, so let's go ahead and open this plant. Start here. put a little fluff in this one. Okay. So, I'm gonna have you guys look at it first. I'm not gonna look at it first. How she look? She look okay. Very brown, as to be expected. Um, they were nice enough to add a little bit of insulation so the leaves don't get smashed against each other. But regardless, like the leaves are trashed. There's some type of. bacteria or scale on the back of the leaves so I'll probably have to end up treating for pests on this particular plant I think there might be some type of scale um, or bacteria in general so this monstera I've seen better days. So this Monstera has a lot of, there's a lot of um, white on the stem. And it almost looks inverse. It almost looks like the white should be green and the green should be white on this plant. Like there's that much white on the stem. So what might be good is actually growing this in my bedroom where it's a little bit, it's a north facing window. So it's a little bit more um, diffuse lighting. And so maybe it'll bring back some of the green variegation. But if you, you know, if you look, there, there is kind of a green side to it. Um, this side is, is pretty white, but this side does have some green to it. So this is where all the chlorophyll is gonna come from. Um, but it has, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes. So that's, that's a pretty good amount of nodes and that's the intention that I bought this plant is for the nodes and not necessarily for the leaves because um, this is this leaf is done. Like this is trash. <laughs> Straight up. Like the, these need to be clipped right now. You know, they're they're trashed. And it's, it's literally pretty much all of the white if you look at the leaf. Um, so let me clip it and then we'll actually look at the, the leaf because you can see that what's gone is, is, is actually just the white part of the leaf, which is the weakest part of the leaf. I got my favorite set of Comanche pruners and I'm just gonna, you know, cut these sad leaves off like this leaf. This leaf is super gone. Like it's, it's gone, you know, completely gone. And you can see that it's literally all the white and all the white. The green is still intact, but the white is not intact. It's, it's sad. 
I'll go ahead and, you know, clip this leaf. That's unnecessary. We'll go ahead and clip the other side leaf. Um, yeah, we'll clip that one. This one must have been the all white one, because that's dead. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and clip this one too. Um, it's chlorotic. You can see that there's yellow, and then there's big spots of brown, probably because of it was laying next to these other dead leaves. And then I could try to save this leaf and just cut down the side. Um, and the same thing with this one, just make it a half leaf like this one is. And to be honest, this one has a bunch of there's bacteria dots, so we're gonna go ahead and snip that one off. Because I want to get those dots. I don't want to infect the other material. And then... This is... Barely a leaf. So what's left is pretty much the green portion. What's left is the green portion of this leaf. I'm probably gonna cut the white portion of this leaf off and then the white portion of this leaf off. Anyways, so I've got, you know, three half leaves. I'm tempted to just cut them all off but a little bit of chlorophyll is still gonna help this plant go through its necessary moments and recover through transit, which can be very stressful. So I'm very excited that you unbox. I'm very excited that you unbox this haul with me and um, I can you know, help only plants out with closing out a store. Um, it was a great experience for me to get some bigger specimens at a lower cost. However, shipping kind of um, was almost just as much as the plants. So um, I'm not sure if there was benefit in doing these plants or if there was doing, if, um, if I would have just purchased plants on Etsy. I think the prices are very, very similar and um, I maxed out this photo certificate that I had with this um, shipment. Um, only Plants had told me that I could have 12 different plants on the list, and so I got 12 different specimens. For the most part, everything turned out really great. Um, the only plant that might struggle survival is the Heteraceum because it is a thin vine, as well as the um, the White Knight. I don't know if the White Knight's going to survive. As long as the, the stem is okay, then everything should sprout fine. But um, those two plants were the smallest plants out of the bunch, and that's half the reason why I wanted to order larger plants was because I wanted to have uh, success in their arrival just in case if anything did go awry. Um, but unfortunately, it seemed like he chose some of the smaller plants because I am an international shipment for him, and he wanted to lower the cost on shipment. However, I'm not exactly sure that he did end up lowering the cost on shipment. Um, and that's where this kind of increased in price. However, um, there are lots of plants here that I can, I, you know, with this plant, if I am able to root every node, um, I might be able to recoup the entire cost of this entire table, which um, would be really great, right? So. Hopefully that's the plan is to recoup everything with this plant. So we'll see if that happens. This was a really great experience for me to get a hold of larger specimens like this tortum here. If I were to purchase a tortum 
on another website of this size, it would be quite spendy. And then additionally, the shipment of this um, plant alone would be spendy because it's also very long. So I thought that it would be great, you know, in a, in a long box shipment because I'm already going to order this philodendron. Why not get a large tortum that's going to be shipped in the same box? So that's going to be a benefit to me. And plus, I was looking for a plant like this that's going to give me beautiful palm leaves and give me a very big, um, take up a big large space and have a presence in my home. I wish some of the plants were bigger. Um, I would have paid probably the extra 50 bucks maybe to have a bigger specimen um, to kind of have them go through the shipment. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think I got that chance to have the bigger specimens like this um, at and so on. I. I know that she will grow fast, so it's not a big deal. But still, um, I feel like I ended up paying the price for it. You know, this was pretty much $40 and I don't think I got the $40 plant. Well, you know, this Sharoni was $52. So, you know, for an extra 10 bucks, I'd rather get this plant than this plant. So, um, I feel like some, some things were a little uneven there, but you kind of get what you get in shipments. I appreciate you joining me today. I had a lot of fun unboxing these things with you and I can't wait to get them into my collection and get them potted up. Um, all of them are going to go into a, a self-watering pot and so that's going to be beneficial for these guys because they're going to always have that constant source of water, especially here where everything is very dry. As usual, I like to pick out one plant that I really enjoy the most out of this collection and it's going to have to go to the Philodendron Elegans. This is going to be one of my favorite plants, I think, in the future. It has these really curvy, gentle leaves, and although I do like the tortum quite a bit, there is quite a difference in mood between the two plants. This one's very calming, while this one is very um, stylish in, this one's a little bit more a luxurious feeling, I feel but this one is very, um, it makes a statement, if that makes sense. And so I can't wait for this plant to grow and flourish. And um, I'm really excited for this newest leaf here because this newest leaf will have emerged in my home and it'll emerge in my conditions, which is something that's gonna be really great for this plant. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys into some water and get them situated so they can start settling in but we'll see you next time.